Hey everybody, what's going on? Martinez Joe, thank you very much, man. I decided to cut a lot off this time. I'll wait till some people come in. This video is not going to be so much Q&A as it's going to be a haul because, guys, I have like, I don't know, 50 titles at least sitting in front of me um, <laughs> that I want to go through so I can file them in the system. Thank you, Marie. How you doing? Elena, what's going on? Zach, what's up? Like I just said, I'm going to, you know, wait like five or six minutes. I'm a little late because I had to shove some frozen pizza down my throat because I was starving. But yeah, this is going to be like my September DVD Blu-ray haul. Uh, basically, I have a ton of stuff in front of me that has been like on top of my shelf and then the top of my first shelf. It's been building up and building up some of this I've probably shown before in uh, like live streams that I did in the beginning of September but I'm just gonna go through I'm gonna show you guys everything I've picked up some of it might be from like late August it's just been a while since I've done like a regular video so this is essentially going to be a regular video but I'm doing it live so you know you guys can kind of interact I'm not necessarily going to be like reading questions and stuff um, but, uh, what do we got going on? Plus I'm staring at my phone screen. It's not like a computer in front of me, like when we're at Dave's house. So I'll be like talking about titles and trying to go through as fast as I can. Nicole, what's going on? So, uh, yeah, give it a few more minutes, probably like another two and a half minutes. Hey Joey, what's up? <clears throat> Probably start this about five minutes in. Jesse, what's going on? Um, so yeah, like I said, this is going to be a, a haul video. And I'm going to probably watch a movie tonight. I'm just super exhausted. Uh, but I told myself that I needed to kind of do a video because it had been a while. And uh, like I said, the movies were getting out of control. I have a few days this week after work that I'll be able to kind of like filter stuff in. To my shelves and make them doubled up even more than they already are over there uh, and then I don't know if you guys can see that stack there there's like four four or five packages that I need to unbox um, plus some stuff I got at Best Buy some stuff at Goodwill but that's all been since the beginning of the month uh, I am trying to do an unboxing video and I mentioned this briefly in the video I did earlier that uh, I'm waiting on a big package um, coming from Joey who's in the room. Uh, <laughs> Joey and I have had an awful time trying to hunt down the package. It was sent on the 10th of September. It still has not reached me from Tennessee to Pennsylvania. I'm a bit worried it's not here yet. It should take up to 10 days at the most. It's been a month. And the Postal Service isn't really giving Joey or myself clear answers. We both put in like a missing mail report. Uh, it was scanned out September 14th. And that's the last any update has been done. Uh, I was hoping... Um, I, w I was hoping that today, since it was like a holiday weekend, that it would show up. It did not show up so hopefully that changes um, but yeah so like I said I have a huge uh, that should be a huge package I think Joey said it's like eight or nine pounds I'm hoping it shows up in one piece and everything's there it's supposed to be there um, so and just another heads up you guys might hear baby that is my roommate uh, the, my roommate's daughter so that's life. Uh, so you might hear a baby crying in the background. So I think I'm going to start this thing because, like I said, I'm trying to maybe watch a movie tonight and just relax for a while. So the first thing I'm going to do is show off DVDs. And I've kind of alphabetized stuff, but in sections. Uh, like I said, this is there's a ton of stuff here. I think I have... Let's see. Yeah, 
know, there's about 18 DVDs um, here. <laughs> yeah, Joey and I are like, if we had a time machine, uh, I wish he would have shipped it. Media mail, it would have been cheaper for him, and it definitely would have been here about three weeks ago. So I have about 18 DVDs, and then the rest is Blu-rays. It's probably like 60 or 70 titles. Uh, I got a little crazy in September. A lot of that has to do with um, some good deals I got involved with, uh, whether that be like a local flea market that, or a local yard sale that was in my development, um, in which I have a bunch of stuff that I need to um, that I need to sell. Uh, it's probably going to end up being like video game movie dome stuff. If any of you guys are interested. Uh, you can shoot me an email at downtomovie at gmail.com. I'll probably actually be um, selling it this coming weekend, hopefully. But if you guys want to see what I have, uh, a few of you have already seen it and have purchased stuff from me. So I was able to get some extra money to put back in the collection. Joe, what's going on, man? So like I just said, first up are the DVDs because, uh, you know, hashtag Blu-ray snob. I'll try to recall what I paid for a lot of this stuff. A lot of it I might not remember because um, it might have been like a month and a half ago or longer. Uh, I'm trying to work backwards in the alphabet for the DVDs. First thing is WWE Signature Sounds, the music of WWE. I got this at Goodwill for like a buck fifty. Uh, it is not available on Blu-ray, so I grabbed that. Uh, it looks like it could be interesting. It's like counting down the 25 best entrance themes in WWE history, so I'm sure it'll be a fun watch. Ryan, what's going on? Uh, then I grabbed for 50 cents each the best of Adam Sandler and the best of Mike Myers, Saturday Night Live. I grabbed those at the Liberty Thrift Outlet uh, store that opened up. Like I said, I'm not going to tell you guys when I got this stuff. Sometime in like late August and into, some t uh, into September. The next title is The Office, the complete second series. Uh, I just need to get, I believe it's the specials or the Christmas special. Uh, and I do want to check this out. I've never seen the original Office. I've watched the U.S. version. I really enjoy the U.S. version. Uh, then many of you guys might know that RJ started soccer. So him and I watched like Ladybugs, uh, The Big Green. The other thing uh, I got... For like a buck was or 50 cents was kicking and screaming on dvd i heard the blu-ray is not that great the transfer so i got this basically for rj to check out for 50 cents uh he enjoyed it i you know i enjoyed um what i saw but i think i fell asleep when we watched it but uh kicking and screaming is a funny movie um uh, mike dick is in it will ferrell robert duvall uh next thing i got and this is a show I absolutely love, and I got a great deal on this. I want to say I got this. I'm trying to remember where I bought this. I want to say Goodwill for $1.50. It is Impractical Jokers, the first season. I do want to get all the seasons, even though it's always on True TV, uh, just so I can, like, you know, watch some of the bonus features and be able to pop it in whenever I want. Uh, so it's the first season of Impractical Jokers. Like I said, I bought it for, like, a buck fifty or $2 at Goodwill. Um, next thing, and you guys might know, I have a addiction to iCarly and Victorious, and uh, Second Spin had a sale a while ago. This might have actually been in August. So I got Season 1, Volume 1, Season 1, Volume 2, Season 2, Volume 3, Season 3, and Season 4. So now I have all the iCarly seasons that are released on the DVD. I do not have Seasons 5 or 6. Um, so, Ryan, I believe there's actually five seasons of Impractical Jokers on DVD now. So I have all of the iCarly's. RJ likes watching this show uh, as well as, you know, I like watching it. I do have to get the Victoria shows. Um, they're just, it's tough to come by um, because when you find them, they're usually horribly scratched. I actually had to return, or they were supposed to resend me two of the seasons. Um, I believe it was, you know, there they are, Season 1, Volume 2, and Season 2, Volume 2. Um, season 2, Volume 2, and Season 1, Volume 2 were both horribly scratched. Um, they sent me a replacement of the one season, it was clean. I never got the replacement of the other season. It's been a while, so I don't know if 
I'm just out of luck if they don't have another one. Um, the next things I grabbed, I don't remember what I paid, are <clears throat> Season 2 of Curb Your Enthusiasm Factory Sealed, Season 3 of Curb Your Enthusiasm Factory Sealed, and Season 4 of Curb Your Enthusiasm. Uh, this was like 50 cents because I got this at the local uh, yard sale. I don't think I paid more than a dollar or two for these seasons, brand new factory sealed. This is a show I keep getting told I need to check out, I need to watch. I've never watched it at all. Um, so I do need to dig into it at some point. Just another TV show uh, to watch. I'm going to put the DVDs up here. And then the, uh, the next thing are some Warner Archive titles that I've yet to actually open and watch. I need to crack these open and watch them in the near future. But like I said, more and more stuff gets added to my collection. More and more stuff keeps coming out. More and more TV shows. And uh, I can't catch up. So if looks could kill, I grab that. It's a Warner Archive title. Um, Airborne. <clears throat> I remember Seth Green and Jack Black being in this movie. I really enjoyed this movie when I was a younger kid. I don't know if any of the, you know, this stuff is going to hold off as well as it did when I was younger. Most importantly, the title I was really searching for and finally pulled the trigger on. Angus, um, you know, if you guys know, this is the only VHS I own. Because I was waiting to finally get the DVD-R release so I could finally get rid of the VHS. Uh, this was a movie I absolutely loved in like my 12 to 14 year old Rick phase. The soundtrack was amazing. It featured Green Day and Weezer. <clears throat> it features a young James Vanderbeek, uh, George C. Scott, Kathy Bates. Uh, I really liked this movie. I really related to this movie as a bigger gentleman. Uh, Angus was the fat kid that uh, got picked on, but uh, yeah, I didn't play football like he did, but Angus, great movie, can't wait to revisit it. Yeah, Ryan, hopefully we'll get to go to Columbus. Um, the rest of October is pretty busy. I don't know, I, I'm not sure if we're going to get a chance to go to Columbus or if I'm going to get a chance to go. Hopefully it works out, but um, yeah. All right, guys, it's Blu-ray time. Like I said, I'm going to kind of just work backwards. And uh, there's a few different sections here. So I got Tully, the Blu-ray digital copy combo. Great movie. Um, I really enjoyed this when I saw it in the theater. Oh, excuse me. So Tully is a very good movie if you guys haven't checked it out. Definitely go ahead and do so. Uh, very good flick. <clears throat> the next movie is a movie I wanted to see um, when it hit Blu-ray because I didn't hear a lot of great things when I was in the theater. Really wasn't sure I wanted to waste the money to go see it. Um, but I got it as part of a really good deal and I do not recall the pricing. This Tomb Raider with the slipcover. Uh, I definitely need to watch this. Um, hopefully soon. I, I can't guarantee that, but hopefully soon. Next... The To Kill a Mockingbird Steelbook. Uh, as you guys know, I've been like, uh, you know, this has been <laughs> the Best Buy Steelbooks that came out. It was like 8 Mile and, well, probably spoiling some stuff. But 8 Mile um, and a few others. Actually, I don't even see 8 Mile. Did I file 8 Mile? 8 Mile's already filed. <clears throat> um... But they had them, but they were all damaged. They had like nicks and rubs and cuts. No, I'm not going to be watching Smackdown. Crazy Joe's in the house. What's going on, man? So I finally found a copy that was good enough for somebody who's super picky for steelbooks. Uh, so To Kill a Mockingbird. I love the book. I enjoy the movie thoroughly. So I had to grab that. The next title is a Dollar Tree title. It was one of the ones I really wanted. Take Me Home Tonight. Really enjoy this movie as well. Uh, the next movie is another movie I really loved in the movies. I'm kind of mad this did not come with a slipcover. Uh, and that is Tag. Uh, I believe it's the Blu-ray Blu-ray DVD combo. Um, Tag is a very funny movie. 
Uh, I think there have been a numerous amount. I can't have numerous. There have been numerous. All right, Ryan, take it easy. Uh, there have been numerous rated R movies that have been really good this year. Um, you know, Game Night, Tag, um, Totally Blanking on the other one, uh, Blockers. They were all good original R-rated comedies. So it's good to see like R-rated comedies that are funny original ideas and not rehashes or sequels. Definitely check out Tag if you haven't. Another one of those Best Buy Steelbooks, The Sting. Uh, I, you know, was looking for this. I found a nice copy. I'm trying to figure out why my, uh, why my bags are all messed up there. I put all my steelbooks in bags, so. <laughs> the Sting, very nice, very cool. Next is Star Wars Attack of the Clones with Yoda on the front. Steelbook, factory sealed. Got this dirt cheap. I want to say this is like three or four bucks. So I grabbed that to uh, to add to the collection. This was from Sarah's Films for Sale. Uh, Martinez Joe actually grabbed something from Sarah. So check her out on Instagram. She has stuff up there for sale. Check out Joey. Uh, if he's still in the room, I keep dwindling viewers, which like I said, this is, this is pretty much me recording a video, but also live streaming. Um, the Media Meltdown store on Instagram. Joey has some great deals up there, so definitely check those out. Next title is Shrek The Whole Story. I got this for like 10 bucks shipped. Very cool. The four Shrek movies. I know it doesn't have Shrek 3D or Shrek The Halls, but wanted it, so I had the main four movies. Used to own this, did not own it, so wanted to add it back to my collection. Next title. Serious Man. I believe that was also from Sarah's Films. Uh, another movie that I've never seen, and I, I mentioned this in a live stream. I have to be in the right mood to sit down and watch this, but it is something I know I need to watch and something I really do want to watch, and that is Schindler's List, this being the 20th anniversary limited edition. Almost like a digibook, but not exactly. It's in the sleeve. Um, Very cool. I've never seen a serious man, uh, Crazy Joe. Definitely want to check it out. So it's two DVDs and the Blu-ray. Uh, there's a digital copy code I believe is already used. But very cool. You guys knew how excited I was about this. Uh, I got this, I believe, Labor Day weekend when I went out with Chris and John. That is the Rocky Horror 40th Anniversary Special Edition, the Celebration Edition. Comes with like rubber gloves and fishnets, the soundtrack on DVD. Um, it actually opens up to look like a red curtain with uh, Frank Furter and uh, totally gone blank on names right now. Uh, Magenta and the other one that I'm totally blanking on. Like I said, guys, I am exhausted. Like I'm trying, <laughs> I'm trying to uh, be coherent while I do this. Next title, I got at Best Buy. Uh, I won a contest. Um, I won Fight Club. and Well, not a contest. It was like a, a Razzler. I explained that. Um, but I got store credit. And I got Revenge. Uh, Revenge was an amazing movie that I had no idea about it. And I watched it on DVD. And it was awesome. I was like, I need to add, that to my, add it to my collection as soon as possible. Grabbed it. The main actress is Matilda Matilda Lutz. Uh, she played a badass very well. And uh, Columbia, that's, yes, Nicole. Columbia is the other character in Rocky Horror that I couldn't think of. Uh, but this movie's great. Definitely an awesome revenge story. The title is so literal. Next was The Oranges. Got that from Dollar Tree. Mike and Dave need wedding dates. I got that from uh, I got that from Sarah's Films. Joe, we talked about uh, men asses last night. Um, you know, of course I'd love to go to men asses and you know hunt. That'd be a good time. Me, myself, and Irene. This was a title that was on my wish list for a while. I had it on DVD. Went to upgrade to Blu-ray. Got a hold of it. 
another one that was on my wish list made uh, this being the Canadian release so it has the awful French spine everything's in reverse so I'm sure you guys are gonna notice that but made very cool another Dollar Tree title the longest week great cast wanted to check it out the Dollar Tree title I was most excited for the king of comedy uh, definitely wanted to own this and need to watch this one soon. Uh, you know, Martin Scorsese directed, Robert De Niro starring, need to check it out. Next is Kingsman and the Secret Service, The Steelbook. So now I believe I have, do I have the, I think I own both these steelbooks now, I'm pretty sure. Um, I actually think I own two of the Secret Service steelbooks, different designs, and then one of the Golden Circle steelbook that goes with this. Very awesome. This was sent to me by viewer Movie Man. Uh, this was amazing. From Belgium, the Karate Kid steelbook, the Project Art um, steelbook with Cobra Kai on the front. Very cool. Uh, it's amazing that he sent it to me. I'm glad to finally own it. Um, it looks awesome in person. Great artwork. Very cool title. The big Cobra Kai fist on the back. Next, in a world that's a movie about like a female voiceover um, artist if you will you know the voice and trailers uh starring lake bell this also has dimitri martin in it rob cordry Mikhail watkins camerino nickel tig nataro great cast really good movie definitely worth checking out if you haven't seen it uh, you guys know i grabbed this one the hocus pocus steelbook I think I might have filtered some stuff in that I like replaced so like 8 Mile I got rid of the regular version so I think that's already on the shelf the steelbook Nightmare Before Christmas I got rid of the regular version I already put the steelbook on my shelf so I do have those as well they're just not here I already have enough to show you guys so we're going to just pretend like I'm showing them to you next is a really cool find um, got this as part of a bulk deal off of Facebook I believe the Halloween Digibook, this being the 35th anniversary edition. Very cool. I was psyched to get it for the deal I got it for. Um, considering this is kind of, you know, fairly rare, uh, but very cool to have the, uh, the Digibook of Halloween. Nice. Sweep the leg, that's right. Got this at Cash Converters in Reading on Labor Day weekend. This being Go, another awesome movie. My sister Nicole, if she's still in here, her and I watched this fairly often uh, when we were younger. Really enjoyed that movie. And apparently, Melissa McCarthy is in this movie. So I definitely want to rewatch it and see if I can like spot her in the movie. You know, Katie Holmes is in it, Timothy Oliphant, Sarah Polly, uh, Scott Wolf. <clears throat> Friday Night Lights and The Express, two great football movies. Another, another Dollar Tree title, Drumline. Uh, I was paid for advertising because Crazy Joe was kind enough to give me this shirt, my Megapodtastic shirt, so I wear it proudly. Uh, I believe Crazy Joe actually went and bought a uh, Down to Movie shirt off of cinemasickness.spreadshirt.com. Hashtag Blu-ray snob shirt coming soon guys get on Dave I want to see the hashtag Blu-ray snob shirt and I want to get a CS crew shirt um, With me and Chris and crazy Joe and Jeremy and Dave and like cartoons, but we need somebody to design um, The cartoons so I think that would be an amazing shirt definitely want to own that for sure uh, Another Dollar Tree title Don John this was my final title in the 4 for 44 sale uh, Warner Brother Archives did, and that is Doc Hollywood on Blu-ray. Very cool to get a uh, MOD uh, Blu-ray release. I had never had one, and now I do. Oh, man. 
man. Definitely, Marie, you need to get that DTM shirt. Cinema Sickness, I'm sure you already have one that can wait. But uh, yeah, no, definitely a down to movie shirt would be, uh, it's my understanding they've actually sold quite well. I know a lot of people who have ordered them. Uh, if you guys do order one of my shirts, please like take a picture of yourself in it. I will tag you and put it on Instagram and share it. That would be amazing. Uh, but I have more movies to show you guys, so I don't want to get off track. Yes, definitely Martinez, Joe. Daredevil, the director's cut. Got this nice and cheap. Uh, finally got rid of the DVD I had. This was a cool find. Uh, Pam at the Video Game Movie Dome had Crashing. Season 1, great show with Pete Holmes. Uh, I love stand-up, so I really enjoyed this show. I will pretty much watch anything involving stand-up. Uh, I'm currently watching The Marvelous Mrs. Maisel on Amazon. I love the show. I'm dying up here on Showtime that I just found out got canceled. Um, so that kind of is a bummer, but I love stand-up comedy. I love shows about it, and Crashing is a very funny show. This season, I believe, guest stars like T.J. Miller, Sarah Silverman, Hannibal Barris, uh, T.J. Miller, I don't know if I said him, Artie Lang. So, very cool, very funny show. Next, a title I've been wanting for a while, and I found it with the slip. Chef, uh, Blu-ray, DVD combo, awesome movie. This is probably one of the most um, underappreciated, underseen movie in the last like five to ten years. Um, Chef is a very good movie. I really love it. Great cast, great music. Uh, it is like, <laughs> it's, it's awesome. So I'll have to do that. I'll have to check out Deep Discount for sure. Next is another like, uh, very unseen movie, Cheap Thrills. It's a very dark comedy. Uh, I love this because it has the reversible artwork that I already flipped. You guys can see. That's the original artwork there, uh, but I flipped it to the, the alternate artwork. Very dark movie, but very funny movie. Next, another awesome steelbook. Got this at FYE for $9.99. Casino. Love, love, love the design of this steelbook. I keep hoping that they release a rounder's steelbook, um, but right now I have to enjoy my you know, steelbook. Not quite as cool as the Rounders one would be, um, but very awesome. Next is a remake of Carrie with the cool lenticular artwork. I love the lenticular cover on this, like, <laughs> totally awesome. Um, I like the original movie better, but love the slip. Love the slip. This was another thing from Sarah's Films. Uh, Big Bang Theory, season 11. I now have all 11 seasons. Season 12 is currently on now, so that will complete the series. Very cool, great, funny show. I know Crazy Joe loves it. Crazy Joe, Big Bang Theory, it's for you, buddy. Next, Batman the Killing Joke with Slip. Another really cool uh, title that I want to check out, and I would love for RJ to check out, but it is Radar, so... He will not get to see it. Not anytime soon. Um, nice. See, Martinez Joe just got his package from Sarah's Film. She has great deals, guys. Go ahead and check her out on Instagram for sure. So the Killing Joke, Batman, I heard the comic is much better. But for the price I got this for, I definitely want to check it out. Uh, Annapolis. This was probably uh, a Dollar Tree title. I don't think I saw anybody else get. Uh, there was this, and I believe... Another one that's in the second pile of Blu-rays that I didn't see anybody else get. Both like uh, Touchstone releases. So very cool. We're, we're almost there, guys. We're like halfway through. I'm getting tired. Um, like I said, I'm just super exhausted. I want to have some more pizza, even though it's going to be cold. And uh, sit and watch a movie. I actually am going to watch something that I sold. Uh, that I have not shipped out yet on eBay. Three o'clock hot. Uh, I've never seen this, but uh, I was on a t-shirt shop um, website 
and they made shirts for it. Jeffrey Tambor's in it. Um, Philip Baker Hall. So I have never seen this. I'm going to check it out before I ship it out. But that's what I'm going to watch tonight as soon as the live stream is done. <clears throat> the next two things I've set aside because I need the DVDs for these. Um, and Pam has one of the DVDs for me already. I forget which one. I think Rise of the Planet of the Apes. Spoiler alert. Um, so she has the DVD. So it will complete the Blu-ray DVD set. But this is the one with the slipcover. I paid 50 cents for this. Very cool. The other title that I paid 50 cents for is the Born Legacy Steelbook. Uh, it has a few scratches, nothing too major. I forget where it is. There's like a little scratch, but it is missing the DVD. So it is only the Blu-ray, uh, but still for 50 cents. Um, I'm not a huge fan of the Born movies, but a 50 cent Steelbook had to add it to the collection. So there it is. Um, what do we got next? So, I guess I'll show you guys, I'll save the rest of the 50 cent Blu-rays I got. Um, I got a bunch of 50 cent Blu-rays from a local neighborhood sale. So I will save those. The next titles I got from Dave, uh, when he went to Florida, he bought a bunch of Blu-rays for a dollar. Um, sorry, comment. Uh, a bunch of titles for a dollar. I got first shot at them. Um, the best of King of the Ring on Blu-ray, WWE title. These are all WWE titles. WWE OMG, the top 50 incidents of WWE history. Uh, <laughs> these are WWE titles. I have a lot more on the way. Um, that is part of what Joey uh, sold to me. Hopefully that package comes soon. WWE... Falls Count Anywhere on Blu-ray, WWE Ladder Match 2 Crash and Burn, and WWE The Top 50 Finishing Moves in WWE History. Very cool, all for a buck a piece. Uh, definitely had to add these to my collection. <clears throat> Next was another uh, fairly interesting Dollar Tree title that I didn't see anywhere else. Um... That is Sympathy for Delicious. I don't know if any of you guys have seen this. Directed by Mark Ruffalo, starring Mark Ruffalo, uh, Juliette Lewis, Laura Linney, Orlando Bloom. Um, I, it looks interesting. I don't know if it's going to be good. I don't know if it's bad. I don't know if any of you guys have seen it. But for a dollar, I grabbed it. Figured I'd give it a try. Uh, next, Surviving Christmas. I got this at the, uh, what is it called? The Game Exchange? Ooh, I forget. It was the game store we went to in Hershey. They had three for ten. This was one of the three I got. Another movie that I wanted to upgrade from DVD. This is apparently a pretty tough to find Blu-ray. So for $3.33, awesome deal. Glad to own it on Blu-ray. Um... I have seen the Blu-rays at Walmart with the slips that look like VHS tapes. I actually got one of those the other day. Uh, so you'll have to wait a little while till I either do a pickup video or my October hauls. Uh, Sleepless. I got this on the 20% off day at Big Lots. So this was 4 bucks. Don't know much about this. Jamie Foxx, Michelle Monaghan. It looks like Jamie Foxx is a cop. We'll see. Well, that's an October pickup. I'm just going to shift that over to the side, guys. You have to wait uh, wait to see that one. Next pickup, A Quiet Place on Blu-ray. I thought I owned this. I guess I did not buy it when it came out. So it is still sealed. I have not opened it yet with the slipcover. I got this really cheap at... Where was I? I can't remember where I was. It was like $7.99. Um... So I definitely grabbed it. I think it was a pricing error. So very cool. Sleepless was so good. Awesome action crime. Cool. Uh, that's awesome. He's a few thousand. Nice. More, more friendships being, you know, built through YouTube. I love it. Um, very cool. Joey and uh, Joe Martinez. So 
Uh, this was the title I bought at Zern's the night it closed. Uh, Dave gave me crap for it, but after seeing A Star is Born, I'm glad I bought this. It was like $4, but it's cool that I got something the last night Zern's was still open and in business. And it's the Lady Gaga Monster Ball Tour, live from Madison Square Garden on Blu-ray. Uh, it's a full concert. I actually think this was on HBO, if I'm not mistaken. But, uh, very cool. I like Lady Gaga. Um, I enjoy her music. I think she's entertaining. So, I grabbed it. Next title. Uh, this is an awesome find. I got this at that game store in, uh, Hershey. Joe knows what I'm about to show you guys. Uh, brand new factory sealed with slip. The Killing of a Sacred Deer. $12.99. Um, this is a title that's like 20 bucks at Best Buy, but it's a title that I don't think you're ever going to really see on sale at like a Black Friday or as part of a regular sale. Like it might get dropped down on Amazon at like 15, but for 12.99, had to grab this. This movie is insane. This movie is awesome. Um, I am so glad I own this. Uh, wow. If you have not seen Killing of a Sacred Deer, Check it out, but be prepared. It is a very heavy, twisted movie, but a very good movie. Jerry Maguire, another title off my wish list. This show here, um, I actually grabbed when I was in New Jersey um, with my girlfriend earlier in September. I don't know much about it. It is uh, season one of how to Make It in America. Do you guys know anything about this? I know it's an HBO series. Um, the cast looks good. I mean, it has Lake Bell, Eddie K. Thomas, uh, Shannon Sossaman, Luis Guzman. For, I think this was like two bucks. Had to grab it. Um, I, I don't know. Any good guys? Let me know. How to Make It in America Season 1. It's an HBO show. Uh, another awesome find at Cash Converters, Hitchcock. Uh, I love Alfred Hitchcock. I really actually enjoyed this movie. Helen Mirren's in it. Uh, Anthony Hopkins, Scarlett Johansson, Jester Beale, Tony Collette. Very awesome. This was the other title I was talking about that I found at Dollar Tree that I didn't see anybody else grab. Uh, another Touchstone release. Flight Plan uh, with Jodie Foster for a buck. Grabbed it. It was really weird finding this in Annapolis. It seemed like they were kind of out of place. Uh, it was one copy at two different stores of a Touchstone release. So, I don't know. Uh, another awesome find at uh, Big Lots on the 20% off day. So, this was $2.40. Eye in the Sky. A lot of people don't really know about this movie. Uh, Helen Mirren, Aaron Paul, Alan Rickman. This was actually like in my top 5 or 10 of 2015 or 16. Um, this movie is awesome. Uh, if you guys aren't familiar with this, do yourselves a favor. Look into this one. Uh, it's like a war type movie, but not with like hand-to-hand -hand combat. It's more... The behind the scenes of war, sort of, but a very, very cool uh, movie. The fact that Big Lots had this for three dollars and I got it for 20% off, very awesome. Definitely do yourselves a favor and try to find this at your local Big Lots. Very cool movie. This was the other movie I got at the game store as part of the three for ten. As you guys know, I got Shocker, the Stream Factory release. I watched it. It wasn't my type of movie. I'm glad I got to watch it. I feel like it's one of those movies that I remember seeing at the video store all the time when I was younger. Um, so I'd seen the, the cover over and over and I guess I thought I watched it. I had not seen it. It just wasn't my type of movie. I'm glad I saw it once, but I did not need to own it. Dave really wanted it. He kept asking about it. He tried to buy it from me. Dave's birthday was this past Sunday. I gave it to Dave as a birthday gift. Um, you know, my birthday is coming up next Tuesday. So maybe I'll get something awesome in return. 
Not that I expect anything, but uh, I know he would like it and appreciate it, so I gave it to him. So, but the other title I got was Enemy, starring Jake Gyllenhaal. I've heard really, really, really great things about this. I also heard it's very weird. I heard there's spiders involved, which I'm kind of hesitant about. But it's an A24 release, and uh, I'm glad to finally own it. And like most of the other stuff here, I will eventually watch it. Uh, I bought so many movies just because I remembered the VHS covers. Yeah, I mean, Shocker was definitely that one of those movies for me. Couples Retreat. I thought I owned this. I did not. Got it for two bucks at uh, New Jersey. Got this from Dave. Um, the Burbs. I know there's a Shout Factory release. I just needed the standard version just to, to own it. I don't necessarily need the Shout Factory with the extra bonus features. So The Burbs is a great movie. Alright guys. We have about like 10 or 12 more movies. And then we're done. I'm I'm exhausted. So as soon as I finish going through these movie man, what's going on? As soon as I get done going through these, I, I was going to answer some questions, but I'm just I'm super tired. So I kind of just want to get through this last stack of stuff. Um, I paid fifty cents a piece for all these movies. I'm doing well. I actually um, I'm doing this uh, this September haul video to put up on my channel. I mentioned you earlier because I showed off the Karate Kid Steelbook you had sent. Once again, thank you very much. Congrats on 200 Steelbooks, by the way. So, these are all 50 cent Blu-rays. Some of these are apparently out of print. Some are harder to come by. Some are... You'll see. Arthur and Arthur 2 on the Rocks. Yeah, why not? I like the original Arthur. Don't really remember the second one. For 50 cents, it has to be pretty terrible for me to not want it. So, very cool. Body of Lies with the slipcover, starring Leo and Russell Crowe. Bullet, starring, uh, starring Steve McQueen. Awesome. This is a really cool find. I think Joe Martinez is going to like this one. This is the Martin Scorsese Cape Fear starring uh, Robert De Niro and Nick Nolte. I thought this was an awesome find. I was glad to add this to my uh, collection for sure. Um, Jessica Lang, Nick Nolte, Robert De Niro. Very cool. I thought you would be in there, Joe. Contact. Never seen it. Jodie Foster, Matthew McConaughey. Need to watch it. I need to watch about 300 other movies I have too. Uh, this one, <laughs> Deep Blue Sea. Once again, for 50 cents, I got very lenient with what I wanted to keep and buy from this person. So, Deep Blue Sea, why not? Once again, Face Off. I mean,. Uh, <laughs> Like I said, when you guys see it, you'll get it for 50 cents each. I mean, very cool. Gangs of New York. I can't believe I did not own this. I thought I owned it. I still think I own it. Like, Game of Thrones, Gangster Collection. I apparently don't own it. I could have sworn I owned it. I know I do now because I'm holding it in my hand. This was actually just one of these movies. Uh, I own these movies separately. Um, I own these movies separately. I decided to get rid of the individuals and just keep this one. Gladiator and Troy. Condenses space. So, very cool. Another classic. Leon the Professional. Once again, 50 cents. You cannot go wrong with 50 cent Blu-rays. Uh, this is a movie I've never seen. I've been told it's a great movie. At 3 hours and 10 minutes, I have to be in the right mood to watch it. Magnolia, Tom Cruise, 
uh, Philip Seymour Hoffman, who else do we got here? John C. Riley, uh, Jason Robards, William H. Macy, Julianne Moore, three hours and 10 minutes. It's a Paul Thomas Anderson movie. Never seen it, need to see it. 50 cents, grabbed it. Another movie I can't believe I didn't own. Smoking Aces, crazy cast in this. Jason Bateman, Ben Affleck, Ray Liotta, Jeremy Piven, Ryan Reynolds. Second one, not so good. First one, definitely wanted to own it. Never seen this. I know it's a classic. All right, Mr. DeMille. Ready for my close-up. Sunset Boulevard. Very awesome. Two more left, guys. There will be blood. Don't tell anybody. Shh. I have not seen this. Um, you know, Paul Thomas Anderson, again, I guess is a a weak spot in my collection. Um, but, you know... Daniel Day-Lewis, Paul Dano, There Will Be Blood. I know. I have to see it. I know. And last but not least, guys, We're the Worlds. Tom Cruise. Yeah. That's it. All these 50 cents each. Right in my development, too. It's insane. Yeah, it's, see, you can see, crazy amount of titles. Um, I have this October title that I'm going to show you guys. You have to wait for that. Uh, like I said, I plan on doing like a pickup video. Hopefully in the near future, I have a bunch of stuff to unbox. But uh, I'd love to stay in chat, guys. Um... I am so tired. You guys can probably tell. Uh, also, new haircut. I know some of you guys mentioned it when I got here. A little shorter than I normally get, but I'm starting to, you know, get super thin in certain areas. Uh, so I had the beard trimmed down, got the haircut. I really like it. And uh, yeah, so that's it, guys. Um, I love that you guys have been like following each other, subscribing to each other. That's awesome. As I mentioned in the beginning of this video, now there's more people watching. Uh, if anybody is interested in seeing some Blu-rays and DVDs that I do have available for sale, message me down to movie at gmail.com, or I should say email me. You can message me on Instagram at down to movie. Um, reach out to me. I'm probably going to be offering a lot of stuff this coming weekend, most likely. Uh, Joel, I'll reach out to you after uh, 3 o'clock high. What time is it? It's uh, 8.30, so yeah, I'll watch that tonight. I will definitely be going to bed early. I'm going to have a few more pieces of frozen pizza. And just chill. Like, I am so excited about just laying in my bed and watching a movie and vegging out right now. Um, so that's it, guys. So, as always, uh, be sure to check out links to, like, Facebook and all that stuff. I'm probably going to forget to put it down below because once I post this video, I usually don't go back into it. Uh, but definitely, you know, check it out. Go to one of my previous videos. Check out all my stuff. Down the movie on Twitter, down the movie on Instagram. Search down the movie on Facebook. You can find me there. Reach out to me. Um, and yeah, guys, I'm, I'm done. Go to cinemasickness.spreadshirt.com. Be sure to grab yourself a Down the Movie t-shirt or a Cinema Sickness t-shirt. Um, oh, hey, Ryan. I don't know what kind it is. It, I got... What kind is it? I don't remember. I, I'd be lying. I, I It was like a $5 pizza. I just... It wasn't Tombstone. It wasn't DiGiorno. I want to say it might have been like Red Baron. That, that might be it. So, um, yeah, probably Red Baron. Yeah, you can get yourself a Cinema Man shirt at uh, cinemasickness.spreadshirt.com. And uh, lots of cool stuff coming up, guys. This weekend, going to RetroCon with RJ on Sunday. Crazy Joe will be there. Uh, Dave will be there, of course, set up. Chris is going to hang out with Dave on Saturday, I believe. Um, 
And then something really cool coming up the last weekend of October that is kind of hush hush. I have buy the pop art steelbook from Taxi Driver. Yeah, that's a very cool uh, steelbook for sure. So something really cool coming up the end of October. Be sure to stay tuned uh, to Dave's channel as he will be doing daily videos as he always does. And uh, you guys will see what's going on maybe the last weekend of October. That's all I'm saying because I don't want to get in trouble. It's uh, classified information as Martinez Joe said. Uh, but you guys will find out soon enough. It's coming up quick. Um, also, in case I don't do a video, I'm going to wish myself a happy birthday. October 16th, next Tuesday. So happy birthday to me. Uh, happy belated birthday to Dave, of course. And uh, that's all, guys. So I'm signing off. I'm watching 3 o'clock high. I'm laying in bed. Thank you guys for all hanging out. Some of you guys have been in here since the beginning, about an hour ago. I appreciate that. I appreciate you guys sticking around, listening to me ramble, talking to each other, subscribing to each other's channels. We are a community and we need to talk to each other and be friends with each other and just be good people. So I love seeing you guys friend each other, uh, subscribing to each other's channels. That's awesome. I'm done, guys. As always, until next time, who's down to movie?